Well, good morning again. This is Pastor Michelle Allen, and I am glad that you've joined me today for our daily devotional. This is uh, Thursday, the 7th of May, and it is National Day of Prayer. Uh, this was a day that was set aside by our government, uh, meant for us to be in prayer together as Christians around the uh, countryside. And it was meant for us to use this time to pray for um, our land, our, our country. So I wanted to share with you a particular portion of Second Chronicles in chapter 7, where Solomon has just finished building the temple. And he, the first thing he does is he offers prayer to God. Uh, that was uh, a big deal to finish the church. And he, he did it in a, in a beautifully uh, lavish way, the way that God intended the temple to be. And when it's all done, he, he prays to God. And uh, God responds to Solomon's prayer. He says to Solomon in, uh, chap in chapter see chapter 7 verse 11 or 12 it says the Lord appeared to him at night and said I have heard your prayer and have chosen this place for myself as a temple for sacrifices and then he says this when I shut up the heavens so that there is no rain or command locusts to devour the land or send a plague among my people if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin, and will hear their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayers offered in this place. The 14th verse of chapter 7 of Second Chronicles has been a mainstay for people who have prayer at the first and foremost part of their hearts, and in particular those who are praying for revival. In fact, there is a group that <clears throat> to get, I went to a conference about revival a couple years back <clears throat> and they're called the 714 group and what they do is they set their alarms for 714 in the morning and 714 in the evening every day and when their alarm on their phone obviously when their alarm on their phone goes off they take a moment from whatever they're doing and they pray and they pray this prayer uh, for revival for our country and for the churches across our countryside and for the Christian church around the world. But if you notice in that, in those couple of verses, but especially in 7.14, uh, um, you'll see there that it's very specific, the instructions that God says. God says, if my people, of course that to us would mean the church. So if my people, the church, who are called by my name, that would be us will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. So it's fourfold, fourfold um, action. It says, humble themselves. So in other words, get ready to pray to God, humble ourselves, um, <clears throat> and then pray. And in particular, he says, and seek my face. So it's not just praying the way we normally do, but seeking God's face. In other words, having an earnest desire to see God and for God to see us that kind of praying and that's a deep kind of praying um, but you can do it anybody could do that kind of praying and turn from their wicked ways so there has to be a confession of sin which goes back to being humbled in the beginning so there has to be a, a really heartfelt turn to prayer he says when all that happens if my people who are called by my name do those four things I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal their land so God says, I will hear you, and then I will uh, hear you from heaven. I will forgive your sin, forgive your sin first, and then heal your land. That's why people have been praying this for uh, the nation many, many years, that God would heal our land. Uh, there are many imperfections, many sins that affect our land, and that would be something that we would go to God to forgive us for. So National Day of Prayer, it's not to be taken lightly. It's meant for us as Christians, not that we need the government to tell us when to pray and when not to pray, but it, it calls for all people to pray uh, and for us as Christians to truly turn to God with all our heart and prepare our hearts for a specific kind of prayer where we seek God's face and ask Him 
to forgive us our sins, not just our sins, but all of the sins across the country, and heal our land, that we may be made whole. So on this day of national prayer, I, it is my prayer for you that you would take some time today and earnestly seek God's face and pray for our nation. Let me pray with you. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks that throughout your scriptures, there are instructions on how to pray, many different ways to pray, but specifically on this one, to seek your face and that you want us to seek you so that we would cry out to you and seek your healing power across this great country. So on this day of national prayer, we ask that you would truly heal our country, um, that you would heal us not just physically, but spiritually, that we may be one people and that your church would be at the center of what it means to be a country united under God. Thank you, Lord, for this day. In Jesus' name, amen.